Well, sometimes people are quite skeptic about that. Is that really working type of thing? Everything had to be very exact and we needed to plan rigorously from the beginning. Mm, I say pretty much like, wow, it's going to be huge. <laughs> I think that was the first time that the loader drives inside the glass labyrinth, definitely. At least I haven't heard any similar cases. I thought it was quite exciting, you know, we, we said that we were going to do something different. And uh, what can be more fragile than uh, a glass labyrinth? Uh, my first reaction was that it won't manage through the glass. Uh, the most important here is to show that uh, our equipment can run totally automated. We have actually done this for more than 20 years within Sandby. So we start moving people away from there now that the loader is coming. These safety curtains are exactly the same ones what we are having in the real application, what we are delivering to the customer minds. So it's uh, based on a laser beam, and if you are trying to, to go through it, it uh, breaches the, the laser beam and then the loader and uh, the system shuts down. Each and every mining site is totally unique. We're trying to simulate the, uh, the tunnel of the mine. This way it's 30 meters, on this way it is 58 meters. And uh, we have 589 sheets. There's no room for errors at all. So we thought uh, this was a good idea to bring the loader up to the surface and uh, make it more visual for everyone to see what we are doing. Action. The benefit for automated system is that we are moving the people from the hazardous environment to the safe environment, like from the underground mine to the control room that can be located like a, in the office building. Automated running through the labyrinth is based on four different kind of sensors. So how our automation system works is first you have to manually te teach the path of the loader and that's where an operator drives the machine manually and we have a scanner which is scanning the walls. Okay, so the laser scanner is the only one you can see but on board of the machine there is also odometers, gyroscopes and angle sensors. So those sensors are making sure that the loader is keeping the track and driving through the labyrinth without any collisions. So the safety... Yes, uh, unfortunately the, the camera, camera equipment touched, touched the, the glass wall. Just a little, uh, little, little hiccup, it was basically my mistake. No, I was actually watching it and then suddenly it went through. The camera was uh, going through the glass. Yeah, but it's a human error. We have driven more than two million hours without uh, accidents involved any humans. So it's a reliable and safe system. Nowadays, we also have this automated bucket filling that you don't need to do anything remotely. So the bucket filling and dumping of the bucket is done automatically. We can change the mining industry with these kind of new systems and new innovations and make it better place to work. The glass labyrinth here is quite tricky. Have this secant type of S-curve there. But the system is really accurate, so it's basically like driving on the railroad.
We are about to uh, have uh, Bjorn uh, demolish uh, the, the labyrinth in, and drive through the glass wall. We collect all of this and uh, the glass will of course be recycled. That's important in our business. The next step in the industry is adding to electrification. We have already in the market today battery-driven loaders. So I think in the future you will have more loaders and trucks operating just on, on batteries. I think everything starts from the people. You need to have right people with the right skill set, with a passion and with a good team. You can achieve almost whatever you want.